If you want to learn 3D animation, there are a couple different ways to get the job done, but two in particular that you should know about. The first is called keyframing, which is how I am made. It's where you use controls to move a character like a puppet into specific poses, and when you move between those two poses, it creates animation. Uh, the other method is called motion capture, and I don't know a whole lot about that. But I brought my friend Kiwi because that's how she moves, so I thought she might be able to explain to you guys what motion capture is. Take it away, Kiwi. Take it away, Kiwi. Take- you don't talk. I forgot you don't talk. Um... No, you know what? I can do this. Uh, okay. There are a few different ways to do motion capture. You might be familiar with the one where the person puts on the suit with the balls and stuff on it. Uh, those little balls are actually for tracking whatever motions the actor is, like, doing while wearing the suit. But you don't even need a full suit. QE here uses, uh, virtual reality gaming controllers that track just her head, hands, and feet. It's a whole lot cheaper than trying to build, like, a whole Hollywood motion capture studio, but the downside is that you can't track all the movements, so you have to make sure you have a really good rig to make sure there's not a lot of problems. Uh, okay, and then after that, you just kind of record your movement, and then you just take all that relative space data and just kind of slap it onto a rig, right? Yeah, okay, and uh, it's great for catching small details in a performance that might be hard for keyframe animations such as myself to replicate. Uh, if you're wanting a very natural, realistic performance, or if you're wanting to catch some very specific, detailed human mannerisms, it's, it's hard to go wrong with motion capture. But, if you ask me, uh, if you're looking for movement that's a little bit more stylized and uh, exaggerated, dramatic, uh, impossible, it's not really something you can do with motion capture. I mean, if you wanted to get an animation of a character like Spider-Man swinging from a rooftop, you can't exactly put on a suit and go do that. Or maybe you want a performance that's like crazy, like Looney Tunes or, or exaggerated like Disney. You gotta go with keyframe. I mean, that is, if you have the time to do that, keyframing does take up a lot of time, it's very time consuming. You have to take a lot of things like composition and anatomy into consideration when you're making these choices and it takes work to make keyframe animation feel natural. And with the motion capture, you can just kind of put on the suit and do what you need to do. And it's especially helpful if you want to make a lot of something. Like, okay, look, both methods have their weaknesses and strengths. The most important thing about making what you want to make is making it. So go out there and have some fun.